Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. You know, God woke me up about, I think about maybe five years or six years. I'm, I'm really not even remembering. So I've been up since and I've just been hearing him say, pray, 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 and to renew your mind. You know what I'm saying? Because here's the deal. I don't care how long you've been saved. The enemy is trying to taint you all the time. He is tw He's on his job 24-7. And unfortunately, we have a lot of Christians. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. When you have the spirit of God. And hold on. You won't have to be a prophet to understand wisdom and discernment. And I'm going somewhere with this. You got people that are of the church. Or, wait a minute, no, 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 no. Let me rephrase that. They say they are Christians, but they talk so worldly. Can I ask you a question? How is it that you can be filled with the Holy Ghost and cuss? How is it that you can be filled with the Holy Ghost and do what you do that's not of God? Now, hold on. Nobody's not trying to um, bash nobody or judge nobody. But here's the deal. When you know God, when you understand the spirit of God, the love of God, God is holy. You, you don't act the same way. And, and I'm going to go somewhere like you have prophets against prophets. You have this one against that one. I'm talking about even on Facebook and I'm going somewhere. Don't y'all know that I can tell when somebody is, is kind of like trying to say something because the Holy Spirit will tell you like. They have this lady on, on Facebook and yeah, I'm going to say it because I need her to know I've been watching her for about, well, I can't help it because she's one of my Facebook friends and she always got something slick to say and I ain't mad at her, but what I would like her to do, have you ever went to God and asked God who I am? Because I could, I could have shut her down like eons ago, like maybe two, three years ago, but I don't shut people down all the time because sometimes I know that you are a woman of God or a man of God. And, and honestly, I ain't gonna call you no hater because I don't even like that word, but I, you like to use that word a lot. You know, can I ask y'all something? How is it that y'all will side with the world against a Christian? That's a question. You don't have to answer it. But I just had to answer. You guys will side with a person that is worldly over a word from God, a Christian. And that part I don't understand. But hey, that maybe that part is not for me to understand. But I'm going somewhere. And yes, I have a scripture that's, um, I guess, my heading, my title. Because I, I want you guys to really read that scripture. It's called Philippians 2.15. That you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, listen to this part, in the middle of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. We're supposed to be shining, you guys. And hold on, I'm not talking about glowing from gold and being famous. That's not what I'm saying. We're supposed to be the light of the world, telling people that they can make it, letting them know that God has not left them, letting them know that they can win in the name of Jesus Christ, that they don't have to sin to win. Oh, come on, somebody. These kids and these children and these people, they are losing their mind doing things that's not of God. So I want to read some things to you that I researched today. All right, number one, I want you to know that Satan wants nothing more to enter into certain areas of your life. And so he can gain a stronghold. You understand what I'm saying? He'll try anything to throw you off center, distract you from your focus, and render you ineffective for the kingdom of God. That's his plan, people. He wants to render us ineffective, and he'll use this one, that one. It does not matter. And I believe after more than 25 of years, years ministering that the common errors that he attacks, and, and I'm going to actually give you the, um, the areas that he attacks the most. Okay. So I got some things written down. Hold on just one moment. Bear with me. I pray that you're having a blessed day in the Lord. Praise God. All right. So the first thing he wants you to do is your heart. So it's not God's. He's trying to get into your heart. He will try to change your heart. He'll try to put things in your heart. That's why you have to guard your gates. People, let me tell you something. I I don't really trip off of who say what or whatever. Now, every now and then I'll, I'll say something because, you know, I, I just let people know you ain't slick. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all know. Y'all know. Come on. Let's be real. We wasn't always saved. You know, with somebody being trying to be slick. How you going to be a Christian and be slick? Can I tell you something? And this for everybody, anybody, you can get it. When you become a Christian for real, you ain't slick no more. You just come out and say it straight up to the person face or whatever. And you ain't trying to be bullied. Look, 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 I have a problem with you. You ain't right. That's how we do it. For them slicksters, you still worldly because you still trying to be slick. So I don't even respect you. Yeah, I said it like that. All right. So let me continue. 
the, the enemy is always trying to get your heart from God. And there's a reason God tells us above all else, guard your heart. That's Proverbs 4.23. Everything you do flows from your heart. That's why he says where your treasure is, that's where your heart be. Come on, somebody. Satan knows he has an entry point into your life if God is not first in our hearts. God's first commandment set forth under the old covenant was, you should have no other gods before me. That's in Exodus 23. And Jesus restated that under the new covenant, when he was asked, what is the greatest commandment? And responded by saying, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your might. That's Luke 10, 27. Satan's greatest strategy is to try to get your heart from God. And and he does, oh man, he'll use a man, a woman, come on somebody, hallelujah. You got to understand, because we're under the new covenant, but you have to understand that he tries to get us from giving God our whole heart. So he will constantly dangle people, places, and things that you desire in front of you. A lot of you will sin. A lot of you will have sex with a man, a, a woman, just so you can be with them. And they may be fine as wine. Oh, you know, I keep it transparent. I'm talking about everything that you ever wanted. But yet, let me ask you something. If they actually pull you away from God, is it worth it? And some people will say, yes, oh, yeah, a moment of pleasure. <laughs> Come on, somebody, hallelujah, it'll cost you. So let me continue. And anything to distract you so you can erect a false God in front of you that you don't even realize, I'm about to say something. Do you know that you can make people idols? You can love them so much you can make people idols. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all understand what I'm saying. Let me continue. Do you love God more than anything or anyone? And that's a question for you and God. Because he will try to lure you with a false guard like your career, a spouse, a love interest, a dream, a goal, a hobby, a lifestyle. And I'll be very transparent. I love cooking, but I realized when I had walked away from Disney God was, he was, he was actually challenging me then. Do you love this more than, cause I'm telling you, they had big plans for me. And, um, I was in a elite part, if you understand what I'm saying, but I wasn't happy. I can't lie to you. Yes. I was making good money. And I'm talking about, like I said, I was actually serving millionaires. I'm not kidding. But it's made out of wood. Oh my God. Now they stopped it. Oh my God. Y'all heard that? Oh, so, so now y'all see I'm not lying to y'all, right? Now here it is. I'm doing it this way and they still coming at me. But that's good. That's good. Be, be very scared because I'm very anointed right now. I'm talking about we all go from lover to lover, glory to glory, story to story. They mad. And they should be very mad because guess what? I'm not holding back. And I'm going to be honest with you. God is laying it on me so thick and I'm letting them because guess what? We have but a short time. I, we don't have time to play. So whatever God wants to do in my life at this point, however he wants to use me, I promise you let him use me up. So yes. This devil be very afraid. They they afraid of real stuff. You see, they don't mind the fake stuff going on air. Oh, but the y'all heard that right? A whole nother live in, intertwined with my life. I say wow. So let me continue. All right. So I know that people love their body, so they spend more time in the gym working out than working with God. Mm. Y'all know it's the truth. I'm I'm not saying look, we're not bashing people for loving their bodies, but remember the same workout that you do with in the gym, you got to do for God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. All right. So let me continue. He says, guard your heart from by keeping Christ on the throne of your life. So Satan don't try to sneak in because Satan will try to sneak in that fool. He always trying to, you know how he do it. Okay. So number two, your worries to make, he'll make you worry. So you doubt God's love and your provision. Have you ever asked God, God, why are my finances messed up? Why this? Why that? Satan wants you stressing because you're not resting in God's ability to actually care for you excuse me you see we tend to stress over temporal things bills that must be paid or whether or not we're living um a, a good life come on somebody y'all know it's true um even if you have a child or children the enemy will try to get you well, well i i can't you know i gotta stress about my jobs or providing for my family or whether i'm making the cut in this area or that area can i tell you something you're supposed to just stay focused on god and i know sometimes it's hard because when you ain't got this and you ain't got that and things are not falling and, and let's just say you're losing this but let me tell y'all something and this is a key to the kingdom i learned this long time ago i'm so serious about this when god had, um asked me to step away from comcast that was my last job that i really had and i'm telling you what happened 
I had a home, um, car. I'm talking about a home. I was married at the time as well. And I said, God, I'm going to use, lose everything. He said, exactly, Deanna. And one thing I learned through that whole, um, transition, when you are truly getting anointed and appointed, it'll look like you're losing everything. But I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. It's only a facade. This is a test. God is testing you. God is testing you. God is wanting to know where your heart at. Do you trust me? Because I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people say, I love God. I love God. But do you trust me? I know you love me, but do you trust me? Can you trust me when you ain't gotten in the refrigerator? Can you trust me when people turn on you? Can you trust me when I tell you to leave that job? Can you trust me? That's what God wants to know. Can you trust me? And, and I'm telling you, once you start trusting him, because he'll put it, he'll allow so much stuff to happen. You have no choice but to trust him. Y'all know it's true. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and God, understand that God's provisions are real. You see, God never said that you couldn't have things, but what he don't want you to do is the things to have you. Some people do anything for money, fame, or whatever the case may be. And, and I'm going here. How many times women, let's be real, men too. You slept with somebody for some money just because you had to pay a bill or you had to sing or you needed something for your child. Oh, well, I'm doing it for my child. I'm, and we know it's not right. And notice I say we. There are times that we have done some things. Don't lie. Come on, somebody. You ain't got to tell nobody up on here. But you know, truth be told, let's go back in the day. We didn't do did some things because back in the day, look, I got to do what I got to do. We can't operate like that no more. When you come to God, God, I trust you. God is hurting. God, I don't know. I'm going to get this. It's called kingdom living. You cannot still be a thug living. Come on, somebody in the kingdom of God. You cannot be cussing out people. You can't be hating on people. You can't be doing all that stuff that you did in the world. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't be doing all that stuff. Let's just put it this way because people are going to do what they want to do. So I ain't going to say can't. We should learn to trust God. If God is truly your God, then God, I'm going to wait on you. And don't you know, let me tell you something. I'm reminded of Job. Look what happened to Job. And I promise you, that was a hard test. He passed the test. And there were some times that he he wanted to. He even said, he said, I wish I had never been born. There are times you're going to feel so discouraged, people of God. But I'm going to tell you, you hold on in there. Don't you dare. And I promise you, when you get your weakest, that's when the the, the enemy comes. Y'all don't notice that? I'm talking about somebody that come with something that sound good, look good. But you know in your spirit, you're like, something wrong. Don't, don't do it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. I got a couple of more. Then what he'll do is your everyday thinking. He's trying to keep you, he's trying to get you to think like the world. Let me tell you something, what time it is, you guys. The enemy wants to taint us because he knows that, you see, if you ain't had no power, you can't move nothing. The enemy is scared of a Christian that has that Holy Ghost power. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Why you think it's getting lawlessness? This is just like Sodom and Gomorrah, if we really think about it. Y'all know it. And let me tell you what he's really doing. He's trying to make the world actually harder and colder and more um, evil. And I'm going to tell you why, because that's the only way they can unleash those demons. Let me tell you why portals have been open. The more evil it gets, the more power they have, y'all. Christians, I'm telling you right now, I know sometimes it get hard and, you you know, sometimes it's hard being a Christian. I'm real with you. You got all these temptations around. You got people around. You got things around you. That's why you got to stay strong in the Lord. You got to read that Bible. Some of you want to read your Bible on Monday and not on Tuesday. That's not going to work. Some of you want to go to church on Sunday, but don't be with God Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's not going to work. You need God every day. God, please keep me every day. I didn't say perfect. I'm saying striving towards perfection. Every day I need you, God. Please don't leave me. I know I miss it sometimes. You have to learn how to repent. You got to learn how to be real with you. I'm not saying with everybody else. Everybody don't have to know your business. But you got to be real with God. God, I don't feel like it today. I don't feel like praying. I don't feel like talking. I'm having a bad day. Don't you know God knows that? God, just just keep me today. Please, God, I love you. Keep my mouth. Keep my thoughts. Keep me, God. Hallelujah. You got to be real. So many people are fake. You can't be. How you going to be real and fake at the same time? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 
And it's amazing how many people profess to know God and to thank God and to follow God, yet their thinking patterns are not those of anyone else but of the world. Can I tell you something? If you want to know who people are, follow the patterns. That's what God's been telling me lately. He said, follow the patterns. I don't care what your mouth say. Your pattern will always expose your mouth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Your pattern. Because you're going to do what's in you. You can play games, clown, lie, try to sneak, hide. People know. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you have to be powerful in to the fact that you got to consider the cost and say, God, I, I'm not perfect, but I just need you. But you have to do your part. You have to pray, people. You have to fast. You have to get in that word. I know it's not easy. And let's be real. Some days it's going to be harder. Some days you're not, you know, I'll. I don't know why people be lying. How you doing today? Oh, I'm blessed and highly favored. Can I just be real with you? Some days I don't feel blessed. Some days I don't feel highly favored. Some days I just don't feel. God, this, this, I'm going to need you today. I'm going to need you more today. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you right now, you have to get in that word. I'm not telling you nothing I don't do. You guys are getting my word every day. That's not the flaunt. That's not your, I try to act like I'm better than nobody. I need it. It's like medicine. Come on, somebody. It's like a lifeline. God, I need you. I cannot live without you. As a matter of fact, truth be told, you're the one that's keeping us. Truth be told, you're the power. Oh, come on, somebody that's making me get up in the morning. You're the power that's telling me I can still go in a world full of chaos. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. It's time for the church to come up. I'm going to be real with you. It's time for us to pray more and stop P-R-E-Y on each other and hating on each other. For real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the only reason y'all hating on each other is because most of, oh, I'm about to say it. Most of Christians, y'all saying that you can't be friends. But here's the deal. I'm not getting ready to be buddy-buddy with somebody in the world because I'm going to be the next one, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ. We ain't finna roll like that. I roll with people that love God. I roll with people that serve God. I roll with people that love God. I roll with people that know God. I love with people that have the presence of God because if you roll with some dirt, you're going to get dirty. I don't care what you say. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Is your everyday thinking different from the world? You got to ask yourself. You got to ask yourself those hard questions. Furthermore, God words instructors. He says, fix your thoughts. You know, Satan, he, he loves to have us in a mental anguish. And, and hold on. I'm so sick of this mental illness. There ain't no mental illness. Let me tell you something. Everything's a spirit. Y'all better quit playing. You know, the Bible says that one day these demons going to walk among us. I'm not saying I hope it happens soon, but I'm just saying for people to stop lying, talking about it's educational, though. it's scientifically, no, there's demons, how about that? Quit playing. Y'all stop playing. But what it is, is we got church full of demons, so you can't cast out a demon if you're full of them. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm just telling it like a T.I. is. Um... Another thing, stop trying to tear people apart. We're supposed to build each other up. We're not supposed to try to tear each other apart. I'm not saying that people don't do wrong. I'm not saying that sometimes you ain't got to tell people the truth. But in love, you're supposed to love people back to life. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You got to renew your mind, your body, and your soul. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. They all go together, hand in hand. It is too much of doing one thing but saying another. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And what you say, you shall have. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those that love it should eat the fruit thereof. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So, I pray in the name of Jesus that you just continue to be strong in the Lord. You have to be consistent. That's another thing. You have to be consistent. I'm not saying perfect, but consistent. One day you with God, the next day you with the world. One day you doing this, the, you can't do that. One day you with Holy Roller, the other day you with um, Stinky Freddy. And you wonder why you, you, you backsliding. And the reason why most people don't know they're backsliding is because you don't have a sense of the Holy Spirit. Can I tell you something? The Holy Spirit keeps you. I'm about to say something. Most people are not filled with the Holy Ghost. They love the Lord. They go to church. But let me tell you something. That's why the church ain't powerful like it used to be. Because we used to hold people accountable. Now it's like, well, we're going to pray for them. Pray for them. What? They're going to still do what they did tonight, last night, and the night before. And they're going to do it tomorrow night. And they're going to do it tonight. Yeah, I'm saying it like that. People play too much. If you want to stop fornicating, stop. You want to stop lying, stop lying. You want to stop hoeing, stop hoeing. Yeah, I said it like that. Ooh, she said that. Yes, I did. That's in the Bible. It's W H O R E. It's in the Bible. Google it. <laughs> Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing, said the Lord. Playtime over with. Y'all don't see how people dying out here without God? Woo! 
I know it's been tight. It's been right lately. But what y'all don't understand is he talks to me before I talk to y'all. So I'm not, let me tell you something, I'm not exempt. Everything that I tell y'all, I promise you, it's the same that go for me. We just got to get it together as a church. Stop playing. Stop lying. Stop trying to put, put a facade. That's why people don't want to become the church. It's like a big old lying facade. And people can see through it. No one said anybody was perfect. But stop playing games. It's like y'all just want to be. I'm going to be real with y'all. It's like y'all just want material things. Y'all want cars. Y'all, y'all want to look blessed. Oh, I'm blessed. God ain't got no power. You can't lay hands on nobody but you blessed. The devil is a lie. Don't try to lay hands on me if you ain't got no power. I don't care if you got $2 million. If you ain't got the power of the Holy Ghost, you have nothing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff real. Hallelujah. All right. And I love the way you said that, Nakia. Many have been turned into a reprobate mind. That's real. That's real. Well, all right, you guys, I just wanted to get up on here and remember the messages. Renew your mind. Because when you renew your mind, you renew your soul, your body. Speak to God every day. Pray every day. Get in your word every day. You have to have a consistency in order to do this. You can't do this on your own. Not I, not you, not anybody. Because we have a known enemy. So we can only do this by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.